So, get a wilderness slayer assignment from Crystal. It's the, the the witch who sold you uh, the Edgeville spawn. So, we're going to get an assignment. For assignment, I want you to make something clear. My tasks have to be done in the wilderness. Only kills inside the wilderness will count. If you don't like my tasks, go and see Turo and Bertha. He asks him to sign you something else. He won't argue. You might get a few unusual loot drops while you're on my assignment if you're lucky. So, do you want me to assign you something? Yes. Give me her hands. 90 Anku. Alright, so basically, this girl is located, as you can see, Edgeville, west of uh, west of G, north uh, northeast of the bank, and she can assign you Slayer tests in the wilderness. And uh, another thing is you can, say you wanted, um, say you were farming Veteon or something, and you wanted the Slayer Helm for the extra accuracy and damage, what you can do is get a task and say you don't get Veteon, then you go to Berthorp. And as you saw, she said you can go to Turiel if you want a different task, and Turiel is the lowest Slayer Master and of... I offers really easy tasks. So if you don't like a task from her, you should go here, say silent please. And so it resets your wilderness streak, but not your normal streak, so yes please. So 49 bears, so now I go like West Ardy or whatever, and kill those 49 bears, then go back to the wilderness girl. That's an easy way of skipping tasks if you don't have points. But if you do have points, then obviously you should just use your points much faster, but I have no points, so a year. So if you kill something on task from the wilderness girl, say you got Ankus and you kill Ankus, if you kill Ankus, or whatever task you have, you have a chance of getting a tier 1 emblem and a Slayer Staff enchantment, which just makes the Slayer Staff a little bit stronger. And use that on the Slayer Staff to create an enchanted Slayer Staff. And once the Staff runs out of those 2,500 charges, it goes back to a normal Slayer Staff. So these enchantments are going to be cycling in and out of the game, so they'll keep their value. Anyway, let's go grab another task. 88 Skeletons, that's a very easy task. So I think for all these tasks, all the easy tasks, I'll just get like Slayer Helm, Blowpipe, Pegs, and like, Anguish. Now I don't even know where the best place is to, skill, uh, to kill skeletons, but like this is pretty safe and leveled to a wilderness, not gonna lie. Oh mate, it has to be here, this has to be the best place to kill skeletons. Look at, look at all these skeletons. Oh look, an emblem! So, I don't know how many, how many skeletons was that? Um, like 60? And I got an emblem, I mean it's probably not good money now, uh, but there's an emblem. So that proves it can get emblems. Now I'm gonna assume I'm like, I'm pretty sure they would have worked it like this. So if you kill something with low combat, you have a lower chance of getting the unique drops like the Mysterious Emblems and the Enchantment. But if you kill something like Green Dragons or a boss, you have more chance of getting the uh, the additional drops. I assume that's how it is, but um, yeah. Hey, <laughs> another emblem! Okay, I don't know what the chances are, but these emblems, man. I'm starting to think they... well, not starting to think, but I guess I just got lucky. But maybe it's not based on the combat level, it's like the chances you have for um for the unique drops or the, the, the like bonus drops, like the emblem and the enchantment. But I don't know. We'll do we'll do like a few tasks and see. I I finished that skeleton task. Hello, ice warriors. Okay, this is gonna be a little more dangerous because we have to go to an ice plateau because that is like all the way up northwest. Unless I'm thinking, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's up like an ice plateau. So. I have to do, oh no mind, I have to put but two mysterious emblems from those 80 skeleton tasks. Spoilers. And uh, yeah, this is probably going to hinder my plans for killing lava dragons for elite clues. I'm actually, right now I'm like 147 elite clues. And uh, yeah, spoilers. Um, Yeah. Alright boys, we're going to go out of this plateau. Oh, if, I, I'm, if I get smited, I, I'll lose something. But I think I'll be okay. I think there's a, lo lo a load of ice warriors. Oh, there's skeletons up here as well. I think there's a bunch of ice warriors here. I should be fine here, I hope. Maybe. We'll see. Thank you. The guy I just found, I just found myself a noob. Okay, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna leak his location. Oh, that's so cute. He's like, he's got a nice giant task, I guess. Torstal seed bank glue, mate. Hey look, Mysterious M, yay! This, this task has been pretty dry for like, any drops. If I don't get the enchantment for the slayer staff, I'm gonna cry. And then I'll just go buy one and then test it. Okay, another emblem. Yay! Have that task done. We didn't get the enchantment. But what did happen is I got two emblems, same as the skeleton task. So I'm thinking, I, I think I got assigned like a hundred. Wait, was it like 90 ice warriors and like 80 something skeletons? So maybe I got a bit lucky and it's like a flat 1 in 50, no matter the combat level, because those skeletons I was killing were like level 15, Ice Warriors are level like 47. So I think it might just be a flat 1 in 50 from everything, which is the same as the looting bag. Looting bag is like one in, a flat 1 in 30 from everything in the, in the wilderness, sorry. Anyway, now we're going to go buy the enchantment and enchant a uh, Slayer Staff and test out the new spell, because it still uses, oh I'm on the wrong spell book, but it still uses um 
mind runes and air runes or whatever it is but so that's really cheap and if it like so yeah it's really cheap mind runes and air runes but then on top of that you can only use it on slayer tasks that's the only uh, the only downside but if you're like an iron man and you don't have a trident yet and like you're doing kraken or like i don't know something that requires mage then this staff is going to be pretty good Alright, so I'm going to go by the enchantment and then we will start testing at the new staff. I guess I'll sell the uh, the emblems as well because I think they're like 100k on the G or something. Alright, so from killing like all these skeletons, I'll just dump them in because I'm sure there's a lot of them. Oh, dude, they're still for like 100 like 8k each or something, I don't know. Dude, that's decent. Anyway, let's buy this enchantment in enchant in sh in e uh Slayer's enchantment, that one. Um, just put an offer in, Oop, 500k. How much? 324k? Alright, uh, I think I need a Slayer Staff probably is not tradable, I don't think. Oh, it is tradable, never mind. Buy a Slayer Staff real quick. I bet there's some kid buying Slayer Staffs from Slayer Masters and selling them on the G to make bank. Anyway, Enchant the thing. Enchant is there. Staff requires 75 magic, level 55 Slayer to equip it. And it's untradable. Reverting it will not give your spell parchment back. Yes. Slayer Staff E. Alright, you can only use it. Alright, let me just, uh, let's switch spellbooks, spellbook standard. So we've got magic dart here. There's still, that's, that's a considerable amount cheaper than a trident or, like, less runes for an Iron Man. So, uh, alright, Steve, what are we gonna slay? Steel Dragon, see, that's, that's, like, a perfect example of what people will use this for. So, oh, I should probably grab, I'll grab Anti-Fire real quick and I'll just pray mage. So as you see, I'm in, uh, I'm in absolute mats gear, I think, I'm pretty sure. So my bracelet. Ancestral got that lend. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Druin, for that. And uh, Zami Matsky, Colt Necklace, Slayer Helmet, Imbued, the Slayer Staff, and Narcane. And as I said, I'll grab Anti Fire. And I will just use Resource. And uh, I've got Augury, even though that doesn't affect the max, it only affects accuracy. But let's go slay some Steel Dragons, mate. Oh, I didn't really say so. Um, With the Staff, the, the spell is still the same. You still use Magic Dart, just it. It's still the same spell, but if you've got the staff equipped, you do you just deal more damage. And again, you can only use that spell with this uh, staff on task. You can't be off task, so you can't get barrows unless you have a barrows task. Then of course you can. And I've got the imbued heart as well, but I'm not sure because with trident, with your with your magic increasing over time, um, like if you have a higher mage level, you're gonna hit harder. But I don't know if it's the same thing. It's it does say you will hit harder if you have a higher mage level, but I don't know if it tracks at over level 99. But we will see. Uh, we found ourselves some steel dragons, got preserve and all that. Let's get started, mate. Thirty nine. What? <laughs> Hit thirty nine already. To be fair, I am in max gear, so uh, it's pretty inaccurate. A forty? Did we hit a forty? Oh no, 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 bro, 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 I'm getting killed. Why was I horribly burnt by the fire? If it. For Metal Dragons, I'm pretty sure you need an Anti-Dragon Shield. Dude, another 40! I think 40 is its absolute max hit. Dude, 40 is... that's really good. So, the maximum hit of the normal Trident, so it's that's without, um... That's without a Fang, is, um, 36? Or 35, sorry? So, this is a higher max hit of a 40, but this, this staff is a slower. It's the, like, it's a normal spell speed rather than Trident, which is one tick faster, I think. Um, so it's still better DPS, but this is mad cheap, because, uh... With Trident, you would have to use uh, Chaos Runes. Uh, let's just skip that task because they wrecked me. Blue Dragons, alright, we'll go do some Blue Dragons. So I'm not sure if the Imbued Heart has much of a uh, influence on it, because that 109 I hit a 40, maybe it does. Another 39, okay, I think that's the max at 105 mage. So I think in boosting over 99, I'm pretty sure, I, I think, because I hit two 39s right there, so I think it affects the max hit. But as you saw before, I hit a 40, I think that might be the max hit. So let me just recap, this staff... So this staff is like 110 GP cheaper per cast to use over the trident. That's not taking into the account the uh, price of the imbue, but if you're an Iron Man, you'll just be getting the imbue as you go, and you'll have plenty of charges to get them over and over again. Um, so at the moment, this charge cost me 342k, I'm pretty sure. But I imagine soon it'll be like 30k. So like, actually, when I say, when you say it like that, it's actually the same price as using a trident. 
like very roughly it's like it's about the same as a trident um so yeah i mean any place where you would use a the magic dart spell with the slayer staff normally this just replaces it if you happen to be in the wilderness and get the uh, imbue scroll so that's usually iron man i could like maybe some low level mains will be using this but i would don't imagine too many people i just redid the imbue on the heart and see if we hit anything more than a 40 i want to see if i can hit a 41 or something yeah, there's the 40 again. So I think the ma the absolute max hit is a 41. And I'm pretty sure this is max hit. Oh, I'm not wearing this, but that doesn't really... That only affects accuracy, not damage. Oops. Um, <clears throat> but Ancestral does have a little bit of damage bonus on it. That's why I got it borrowed. DPS-wise, I don't think this is fast, uh, better than a Trident. I mean, you can hit five or six more damage than a normal Trident, like a base Trident. But this is a slower casting spell. It casts the speed of a normal spell. And Trident is, like, fast, like a whip. DPS-wise, I think Trident still rules. And until... I th I th yeah... Because this is going to be the same price as a Trident, but less DPS, so yeah. If you're an Iron Man... Oh, 41! Do we hit a 41? Never mind, it's not 40, it's 41. Like I said, so if you've been using Slayer Doubt or whatever as an Iron Man, um, then using this is simply an upgrade, but I think Trident is still better. Even if you're uh, not an Iron Man and you're a main, uh, Trident is still... It costs the same, roughly. Um, unless this goes... Unless the imbue for the staff goes down a lot, like 30k, then this will it'll still only be like 100 GP cheaper than the Trident per cast. And the trident will be pro they're probably quite similar to DPS actually. But yeah, my imbued heart damn it, my imbued heart imbue was going down. So um, let's assume that the max hit is forty one. Um, if it's not though, if I manage to hit something higher, I will comment it down below. And you should comment down below. Did you like this sort of video? This is quite a nice update actually, quite fun. And uh, of course, you can get assignments like Vetion and all the boss uh, the bosses in the wilderness. And then you get the Slayer Helm effect on them. So I think that's what pe most people will be using it for. And now I've got to go back to Love Dragons. And I hope that I don't get PK'd every second. Yay.